We're going to go on the record. This is cause number 2023-CR-71548 and 2023-CR-71548B. Uh, the state of Texas versus Christian Milano is cause number ending in A, and the state of Texas versus Evelyn Schneider is the cause number ending in B. Attorneys, starting with the state, please make your announcements. Yes, Judge. Raul Jordan for the state of Texas. Mr. Garcia, you go first. Eduardo Garcia for Christian Moreno. Jorge Arizotelidis for Mr. Christian Moreno. Manuel Rodriguez for Abilene Schneider. Meredith Chacon for Abilene Schneider. Mr. Moreno, Schneider, go ahead and tell me your full name for the record. We're going to start with Mr. Moreno. Christian Alexander Moreno. Abilene Schneider. Okay. And does either side object to the group please? No, no objection. objection for Mr. No objection Moreno. Thank you. Mr. Moreno and Ms. Uh, Schneider, I'm going to take this plea together, so everything that I say applies to both of you, and I'm going to be showing you the documents along the way. The first thing I want to do is uh, show you the true bill of indictment that was filed in this case. The state has filed a true bill of indictment, and in this ind indictment, the allegation is uh, dog attack causing death. That's pursuant to the Texas Health and Safety Code, Section 8. 22.005A1. Um, do you understand the indictment? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That is a second degree felony. It is punishable by confinement in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, the institutional division for any period between two to 20 years confinement and a possible fine of up to $10,000. Do each of you understand the full range of punishment that applies to the charge you're proceeding on? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, to this charge, you each have the right to a jury trial, you have the right to cross-examine the witnesses against you, and you have the right to remain silent. In fact, we were scheduled for jury selection on Friday. You, under you both understand that? Yes, Your Honor. You understand the rights as I have explained them to you, Mr. Moreno? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Schneider? Yes, Your um, When you sign this document that I'm about to show you, the state, the uh, defendant's waiver of rights, which you're each telling me, is that you're going to give up the rights that I have just explained to you. Is that what you intend to do today, Mr. Yes, Moreno? Sir. And is this your signature here on this document? Yes, Your Honor. And Ms. Schneider, is this your signature here on this document? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Moreno, are you a citizen of the United States? Yes, I am. Ms. Schneider, are you a citizen of the United States? Yes, Your Honor. If you are not a citizen, I am required to tell you by law that a plea of guilty or no contest to this charge it could result in deportation, exclusion from admission to the country, or denial of natural naturalization under federal law. Mr. Moreno, are you satisfied with the representation of your attorneys? Absolutely. Ms. Schneider? Yes, ma'am. And I'll ask the attorneys now, do, um, do your clients each have a rational and factual understanding of the proceedings against them, Mr. Garcia? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. And in your opinion? <coughs> Are they, um, have they assisted you in the preparation of any defenses? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, she has. Yes, Your Honor. And in your opinion, Mr. Garcia, uh, does your client, uh, is your client mentally competent so that he can waive these rights and enter into a plea? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. I will accept the waiver of rights in each of these cases and make it part of the record. Um, Mr. Moreno, Ms. Schneider, I want to carefully go over the terms of the plea bargain agreement in this case, and it's real important that what you understand that you agree to is what I am repeating back to you. In this case, um, the both sides have agreed to waive the jury trial, so this is a plea bargain case. It is an open plea on punishment. So that range that I gave you, 2 to 20, uh, that's what is going to be before me. You each have your own applications for probation that I will also consider as uh, in regards to punishment. There are no applications for deferred adjudication, which means that upon finding you guilty, the only thing you would apply for would be the straight probation. Uh, the state is opposed to your application for probation. Further, you agree to waive any right of appeal that you would have except for any pretrial matters that I have ruled on or will rule on. Um, and that is the essence of the plea bargain agreement. The state below the line has said that they will be asking for the ma maximum uh, 20 years confinement. That's uh, not agreed to. That's just simply they're saying that's what they're asking for. To each of you, um, is that your understanding of your agreement, Mr. Moreno? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Schneider? Yes, ma'am. So you understand that you're leaving the decision up to me. 
this is a prison case, it could be two to 20, or this is a probation case, it could be up to 10 years probation. You understand that, Mr. Moreno? Yes, Your Honor. And Ms. Steiner? Yes, ma'am. And you understand you will have a felony conviction? Yes, yes Your Honor. Okay, very well. Mr. Moreno, I'm going to start with you. What is your plea to the charge of dog attack causing death? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? Guilty, Your Honor. Ms. Schneider, what is your plea to the charge of dog attack causing death? Guilty, <coughs> not guilty, or no contest? Guilty, Your Honor. Mr. Moreno, Ms. Schneider, are each of you pleading guilty because you are guilty and for no other reason? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Has anyone forced you to enter a plea today? No, Your Honor. Has anyone offered you anything in exchange for your plea today? No, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. I will accept the plea of guilty in each of these cases. I do find the plea is voluntarily made, and I will ask the state to tender its proof. Yes, Judge. At this time, this table offers state's exhibit number one and all attachments as to both cases, respectively. No objection on behalf of Mr. Moreno. No objections, Judge. No objection. <coughs> state's one is admitted in both cases. Just a few minutes. I am familiar with some of the stipulated evidence, not all of it. Um, let me just tell you about my scheduling since we are now going to proceed to punishment. Testimony will begin Monday, September the 9th. So we're going to get started at 9 30 after I call the docket. We're going to proceed with uh, all the testimony for both sides, uh, state and defense. I anticipate it will take that entire week to get it done. Um, your clients are going to be ordered to report to the PSI officer today so we can start the pre-sentence investigation report today. I will take all the punishment evidence that week, but I will wait for the pre-sentence investigation report and so that will be, um, I will set the, the final uh, punishment hearing for Friday, September 20th, but it has to be at 1.30 uh, because we're rushing, we're putting a rush on the PSI. I need to give them time to finish that up. So basically on the 20th, that will be the pronouncement of punishment. I will expect that you will uh, rest and close and argue your case during the punishment hearing. Okay, so that Friday afternoon is just pronouncement. I know you're all looking at your calendars. Is that going to work? Because that's the day I'm calling it. Give me just a minute. I do find um, in both Mr. Bono and Ms. Schneider's case, I do find the evidence is sufficient to substantiate your guilt. And I will find you guilty of the offense of dog attack causing death. I will make no other findings at this time. We're going to reconvene for sentencing, as I have explained, and final pronouncement of sentence on Friday, September 20th at 1.30. Ms. Uh, Schneider and Mr. Moreno. You will talk to a pre-sentence investigation report officer who will then write up a report. You'll also have a sentencing hearing where you can avail yourself to telling me everything that you want me to know, not only about you, your family life, your community ties, but everything I need to consider in punishment. So you have several opportunities to communicate that to me, not just through your attorneys, through the hearing, but also through the PSI officer. Any apology letters, anything like that needs to be done during the sentencing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to ask that you each have a seat in the front row over there. Probation's going to talk to you right now. Thank you. 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 Thank you